Welcome! In this video, we'll be diving into the Drafting Competencies category of the CSWA exam. This section contains three multiple choice questions, each worth five points. You have the flexibility to answer them in any order you prefer. Now, unlike other sections, you won't need to create or analyze a part, assembly or drawing. Instead, you'll be tested on your general knowledge of drafting and drawing. This includes understanding various drawing view methods such as projected, section, break, crop, detail and alternate position views. Make sure you're familiar with these concepts as they'll be crucial for scoring well in this category. Let's get started. In the CSWA exam, the first questions are always about drafting competency. The sample exam starts the same way, with two questions. You'll see an original view A and need to identify the SOLIDWORKS view type used to create view B. These questions are multiple choice and can be tricky, requiring good knowledge of the program. To make it easier, you can open SOLIDWORKS and create new drawings to practice. I'll show you some tips to help you get the right answers. Let's get started. Let's create a drawing from an example part. We'll start by selecting an A3 standard sheet size. From the view palette, we'll choose an isometric view and place it on the sheet. In the SOLIDWORKS toolbar, we go to the drawing section and find different view types. We can insert orthographic views manually using the model view option or create views from orthogonal views projected onto a non-default plane with the projected view. For more detailed perspectives, we can unfold a view normal to a reference edge from an existing orthographic view with the auxiliary view to display a rotated section and show details of an imaginary cut through a part we use the section view. If we need to enlarge a portion of a view to show complex parts and reduce dimension clutter, we choose the detail view. For exposing inner details, we use the broken out section, which cuts away a part of the view with a closed profile. To interrupt a view by cutting away a portion of it, we use the break option. The crop view allows us to specify a closed profile to show only the enclosed portion. Lastly, in assembly drawings, we use alternate position views to show different positions and indicate the range of motion of a component. All these views are generally asked about in the drafting competency questions. So, if you familiarize yourself with each of these views before the exam, it should give you a good start. Let's go through these steps together and explore some of these view types. Let's go back to our PDF and tackle the first question. It asks us which SOLIDWORKS view was used to create view B. The options are A, B, C or D. I suspect it's B, but let's confirm by testing it in SOLIDWORKS with our example part. First, we'll test the section view. We'll select the cutting line and place it in the view. As you can see, we created a section view. However, this doesn't match view B in our question, so the section view is not the correct answer. Next, let's try the crop view. In SOLIDWORKS, we'll select crop view. To do this, we need to sketch a spline around the desired area. Go to the sketch drop-down menu, choose spline, and click around an area of our part. Once we click OK, and then click the crop view button again, the crop view appears. Comparing this to the question, it looks like crop view is exactly what was used for view B. So for question 1, the correct answer is crop view. Let's move to question 2. It's similar to the previous one, asking which SOLIDWORKS view was used to create view B. First, let's test the aligned section view. We'll go back to SOLIDWORKS and start with a new part as an example. We'll create a drawing from this part and manually insert the front view into our drawing. Next, we'll select the section view button. We want to create an aligned section view, so we choose aligned in the cutting line options. First, we define the center point of the item. 
Then we position the two legs of the item. You can also insert offsets with your sketch elements. Once we click OK, the Align Section View appears. Here's a bonus tip. Let's return to the Section View and look at the Half Section View. You can move this out of position with the Control key. You can also rotate it using the 3D Drawing View, which helps you select the view. Just rotate the section around and it works well with the half section. This feature in SOLIDWORKS is very useful. Let's return to our question. After testing, we find that the Align Section view is not the correct answer for question 2. Next, let's test the Detail Section view. We'll go back to SOLIDWORKS, add a new sheet page and select the isometric view from the model view. However, the detail section view is also not the correct answer. Now we move to the broken out section view. We'll go back to SOLIDWORKS, add a new sheet page and select the isometric view from the model view. Then we'll sketch a closed profile around a desired area using the spline tool. This cuts away a part of the current view to expose the inner details of the part. Looking at the image and the option we have for the answer, I'm pretty confident that section B is a broken out section. If you're unsure about what a broken out section is compared to other section views, it might be worth checking the SOLIDWORKS help directory. We see that a broken out section exposes the inside of a larger assembly. Others could just be a part. For the drafting competency questions, it's important to understand the different tools well before taking the exam. I recommend practicing early so you can answer questions quickly and keep the momentum going. Good luck in your CSWA exam!